How you doing, YouTube? This OG Weasel Urban Conversation. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm in West Virginia. One of these prison stories in West Virginia. On my way to West Virginia, leaving Beaumont Medium, right? We got a full bus. We got a full bus on the ride, West Virginia. After we can get on the plane and all of that, then we get on the bus. So on our trip, we got a, low, uh, uh, a full bus on the, on, on the ride to West Virginia, USP West Virginia, Hazleton. And uh, we get out here, right? So when you get processed in and go uh, get off the bus, you get processed in and you got to go see SIS, you know what I'm saying, special investigation, uh, security, I guess, or whatever. So, you know. They already got your paperwork and all of that. So they tell you, if you told on somebody, don't go out here on this yard. They meant that. You know what I'm saying? This is the upper echelon of uh, 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 getting killed as being a rat. You know what I'm saying? So they tell you when you get off the bus, don't go out here if you did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? So we get off the bus, go through R&D, get process out. When we come out the R&D door, and we look around, when we could turn the corner and go down the hallway, he tell you, he give us little slips of what unit you go to, you know what I'm saying? As we get down the hall and turn the hall, I turn around, it's three or four individuals. It's only three or four of us, but it was probably, it was probably 150 people on the bus. You know what I'm saying? 120 people on the bus, a long ass bus, Many as people, a long ass bus, you know what I'm saying? And it's full of inmates in this motherfucker. So, once we get off R&D, what, what happened was, all these motherfuckers were scared or either with some motherfucking police and they couldn't go to the motherfucking yard. So as I looked around, it's only three or four individuals and I said, damn, we dropped a hell of a load, didn't we? So all these people that got off the bus with me was in the motherfucking hole, check in, check they self in. Some couldn't even come out anyway, but these motherfuckers checked in. These motherfuckers couldn't walk this motherfucking yard in USP Hazleton, you know what I'm saying? So we get here, get my unit, you know what I'm saying? The homies greet me and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Shout out to them homies up there in Hazel too, too, man. You know what I'm saying? When y'all run across this video, man, shouts out to my East Coast homies, uh, my Midwest homies. But um, another note, right? So when we get to the unit, I had been in some years at this time. So a lot of dudes from the East Coast know me from being in other spots and shit with me. So when I get there, man, you know what I'm saying? Everything smooth, kosher. I get my own room. I get a room, then I gotta move out the room the next morning, you know what I'm saying? Because they put me in the south car, in the room with the south car. So when the doors popped, my homies came and got me, gave me a room, you know what I'm saying? We got big, we got big, uh, we got big soup them out the, uh, out of LA, and uh, homies out of Vegas and shit, Crip car, you know what I'm saying? The Crip car, uh, they had a lot of extra rooms and shit. And uh, Big Homie Soup was tied with some people in St. Louis, man. Got some family down there, you know. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, he took a liking to the St. Louis guys because, you know what I'm saying, got family down there that way. So, you know, Big Soup come through. And then, you know, he already know, like, when the St. Louis bus, when people come from St. Louis, you either crip or blood, you know what I'm saying? So when I get off the bus, you know what I'm saying, some of the homies come meet, meet up with me. It's like, man, I think... Uh, homie soup them got some rooms we need a room so we go meet up with uh, the homie soup them up in the gym and shit we go meet big homie soup them up in the gym you know what I'm saying he tell me he had a couple extra rooms and shit like that ask me uh, who I'm down with and who I'm affiliated with you know what I'm saying I say man you know I'm on the red side but I ain't I ain't on I ain't even doing that in no jail you know what I'm saying got a few homies on the you know what I'm saying? That I got love for, but you know, I got love for both sides, so it wasn't no, wasn't no, um, uh, 
misunderstanding or nothing. It was all love. You know what I'm saying? So they put me up in one of the rooms and shit, give me a couple, uh, keep the room long as I wanted, all of that, this and that. So, you know, to my to my homies, uh, group of uh, Midwest homies get some open rooms. We got rooms, they just had some extra rooms, you know what I'm saying? Everybody get a, you know what I'm saying? Some cars get more rooms than others because some cars bigger than others. So they housed me for a few weeks and shit. Then I go to the other room. I go, I get my own cell. You know what I'm saying? The homies come get me, say, uh, uh, homie, we just want to sell down here, man. We need somebody occupied. Woo, woo, woo. So I go down there, you know what I'm saying? Get in the spot. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, you know what I'm saying? I was just telling y'all that part of the story that happened in uh, USP Hazleton, man, about being a rat. You couldn't come to this jail with a, we, we came to this jail with a full bus and this motherfucker was empty when this motherfucker stopped to go to the yard, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't a yard that I didn't walk along this motherfucking 20 years I done, you know what I mean? And didn't have no issues like that, you know what I'm saying? So, so USP Hazleton, man, uh, get acclimated into this type of routine. They doing a lot of killing up here. You know what I'm saying? But I know how things go. So uh, my other incident that was in this motherfucker, right? So me being in prison a while, my rank and my my uh, my character come with me everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? So me being down a while, so I'm, I'm, I'm starting to, be acclimated into a certain position of a, 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 a OG or gaining some notoriety or some recognizable uh, status in prison. You know what I'm saying? Nothing for nothing I've really done, you know what I'm saying, but protect myself. But other than that, uh, I understand a lot of men need structure. You know what I'm saying? So the structure that I bestowed on me, I just bestowed it on other young men. So, so with that, right? Uh, had a little homeboy out of uh, little homie from the homie had to be from Minnesota. Homie probably from Minnesota. I think homie from Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? Minnesota. Uh, Ohio somewhere, man, I can't really remember where little homie from, right? Well, anyway, little homie was down. I'm in the other unit, a few units down, right? But I was in the unit with the little youngster, and then I moved down to go get the other cell. You know what I'm saying? So when I moved down to go get the other cell and shit, you know what I'm saying, me and little dude was cool. But, you know what I'm saying? In the pen, you really don't be telling niggas what to do. Niggas already should know what to do and how to do it. So... Well, anyway, I moved down here and go to the other cell, get my other cell, right? Not too much longer after I've been there, right? Uh, the D.C. homies come get me from my unit, say, Weasel, man, we got an issue down here in my unit, in our unit, your old unit. So I'm like, what's up? So I go down here. My little, little homeboy, he ain't befriended a Mexican. Got cool with a Mexican that got off the bus probably a week or two ago or whatever. So they've been playing cards and, you know what I'm saying, it was all good. Well, anyway, the motherfucking hit must have come down on the Mexican when the kite catch up with them. And when the kite catch up with them, the Mexicans got to handle their business. So when the kite come down on the Mexican, the Mexicans go to getting, get putting motherfucking knives in them, stabbing them, hitting them, beating them. But my little homeboy had a nerve to grab a broom and try to flee off the Mexicans to stop the Mexicans from jumping on the other Mexican. You know what I'm saying? And that's a no-no in prison. You do not get in other nationalities business. Period. That's number one rule. So as he trying to fend off the other Mexicans from stabbing him and stomping him, you know what I'm saying? Even though he helping a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in the unit in awe that this black motherfucker 
is helping this motherfucking Mexican. And mind you, this little dude ain't been in jail not too long. He probably been here three months. You know what I'm saying? Came in after me. So, when he uh, fending off the other Mexicans from stabbing the dude and beating him and stomping him and all of that, you know what I'm saying? When the guards get hit the deuces and all of that and come get them and all of this, come drag the dude out, put him on the stretch and all of that. Uh, East Coast car, DC homies come get me and tell me, man, your little homeboy violated the motherfucking rules. So I go down there and get him, find out what he done. I'm like, oh my God, and you helping him? What? Nigga, this a no-no. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you before, when you in the pen, you really don't be having to give no niggas no motherfucking real rules. You just give them the do's and the don't. But this just kind of just threw me for a loop when he done this. When he done this, he took me for a loop. So I said, all right. Uh, man, I came to a little homie, man. I told little homie, get out. I said, man, you got to go, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up out of here, man. Pack your shit. Get up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? East Coast car want to stomp them out, want to stab them, want to burn them. For real, for real. But they really can't. So they got to get their car, one of the car members, to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to stab the little dude because I knew he ain't knew no better. He just got off the bus, had a 10-year sentence. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't no rat. But he did something that it's a no-no in prison helping a different nationality um, um, try to fight or whatever. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So that concludes the story, man. I had to run a little dude up top, tell him to get on, on the bus, man, and get on out of here, man. Get on to the hole, man. Get to the hole. And matter of fact, when you get to the next jail, don't lie to none of the homies because they going to get word of what the fuck you done. So if you don't lie, they might take it easy on you and might let you walk the yard. But once you do something like this, this burn you for a lifetime in prison. It'll follow you everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers won't take it kindly to that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because certain rules that you supposed to already know. And when you don't know these rules, you have to pay the price for them. That concludes this story. You with OG Weasel Urban Conversation, man. Like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification button. Hit all them damn buttons. Holla at your boy. Come to you. Be back with another federal prison chronicle.